The hakama is like a skirt or trousers you wear over your kimono. It makes daily life in your kimono so easy. Walking long distances or sitting for a long time won't bother you when wearing a hakama. Hakama has a long history and it was also part of the emperor's coronation gown. For a long time it was only worn by men, but in the end of the 19th century that is called Meiji Ida in Japan, the hakama found its way back into the women's wardrobe. At that time it was especially worn by schoolgirls as a uniform or women who started working in offices or telephone companies and had to sit for a long time. Today it's a formal dress for men and for women it's just casual. But that's actually not subject of this video today. After having a fun day in your hakama outside, you come back home, put it off and then you have the serious problem. How should I fold this? Hi, my name is Billy Matsunaga and I'm a fully trained and certified kimono teacher and stylist. And today I'm going to show you how to fold a hakama for storage. This is, by the way, the first video of my little hakama series I have planned for this month. And I'm gonna show you how to fold a hakama for storage. Of course, I will show you how to put it on from scratch. I also will cover a little history about hakama and what I would call kimono trousers. As well, I'm gonna show you a little DIY how to make a yama bakama, which is also well known as mompe. Yes, folding a hakama is very frustrating and you will forget it forever and always. And I hope this helps you a little. Even me with a kimono teacher license on my wall, I have to look it up at least three times a year, um, which is also because it's just too hard to remember and I don't wear hakama that often. So I don't have a lot of practice for folding them into storage. So this video is not only for you, it's also for me. So I can look on my own channel <laughs> how I usually fold a hakama because I have some advice at you that will probably help you, especially with those pleats on the hakama because they kill me like every time. I'm a perfectionist to be honest, but they really just kill me. <laughs> Before I fold the hakama, I always have it hanging. You have seen um, the little footage beforehand. I have actually worn this yesterday and I usually don't fold my stuff into storage right away. I do the same with my kimonos. I hang them up for at least a day and they keep hanging there, be aired and dried. Um, this also helps to avoid any um, sweat stains and yep, yeah, that's how it looks right now. And for this I need clothespins. Those you use for hanging up your laundry. Um, I hope they are enough. I didn't count them because in our house they disappear because <laughs> We close, for example, um, bags with loose tea with this or everything that has to be closed like cheese bags or everything that has a lot of food in it and you have to close it. That's what we use for this. This is, by the way, super, super Japanese grandma, I was told. My um, over 60 year old host mother was doing this and I just love this so much. So you could give this also a try <laughs> and become a Japanese obachan. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Lay the hakama in front of you. We start with the back showing up. The back is the side with less plates. Start to align the plates and clip them with the clothespins in place. Turn the hakama. Hold it up and swing a little like this before laying it down. This will help that the pleats on the front will also align nicely.
clip the pleats on the front in place. Now fold the hakama into one third. Fold the bottom hem up. Yay, look how nice the clips hold the pleats into shape. And take off the clothespins. Fold the top down. Be careful when straightening out because I ah, look at me. Save. Okay, now to the tricky part, the ties. There are two ties on each side. A wider tie that is attached to the back and called ushiro himo. And a slimmer tie that is attached to the front and therefore called mae himo. We start with the slimmer tie called mae himo. They diagonal over the middle of the hakama and fold the length in half. And fold this length again in half. Do the same with the Maehimo on the other side and form a cross over the middle of the Hakama. Now fold the left Ushiro Himo, the wider tie, diagonally down and wrap it under the left side right next to the center of the cross. Here's a close-up of the last step. Hold the cross in shape while passing the Oshiro Himo under it. Do the same on the right side. Fold again the left side down and wrap it around the upper part of the cross. In this close-up you can see that I align the Ushiro Himo nicely with the bottom of the cross and then wrap it. Repeat this step on the right side. Then bring the left Ushiro Himo down to the right and put it through this loop we have created. Fold the tie into half and pull it gently through the loop on the right side. Here again is a close-up where you can see the loop detailed. Fold the tie in half and pull it through. To also pull the right tie through the loop on the left side. And finished! This knot might look very complicated, but it's actually super easy to loosen it by pulling all four ties on both sides. And you're ready to put it on and go! Tell me in the comments below what you think about my little clothes pins trick because I have never seen that anywhere. So I'm probably only one in Japan who is actually doing that. 
I really really enjoy making such a little series for one month containing four videos about one topic. I already did this for Nagajupa kimono undergarment. If you haven't seen those videos, you can check them out and have a lot of fun with them. And this month will be Hakama, everything about Hakama. And next video, I'm going to tell you more about the history of Hakama and kimono trousers in general. What are kimono trousers? Are kimono inconvenient? And Japanese people actually did notice that hundreds of years ago. I hope you're looking forward to the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would be really, really happy when you subscribe and stick a little round, <laughs> stick around a little more on this channel. And I talk to you in my video next week. Bye.